Hi, this is Michael, and uh, this is what is really my fish room. It's nothing more than a collection of tanks that I have. Uh, to show you some of the black spot barbs in particular, I have a number of uh, tanks. This one in particular is a 93 gallon. It's holding uh, a good size, very nice set of fish. These fish uh, are actually probably about eight months old and uh, they're just starting to get to the age where their middle bar is gone so you can see from the action that the fish are very uh, lively they are very active always swimming in in the shoal format and they uh, stick together they like to be in numbers Having a, a good dozen of them is perfect for a tank. And right now this is uh, dedicated to them at the moment for them to grow out. And there is uh, probably two and a half inches on them. But um, here we have uh, in a sample. They're very, uh, they can be very uh, quick. And uh, we also have, uh, I also have some um, other fish in the room. These are smaller. These are also black spot barbs. To give you an idea of what I meant by um, small uh, young ones with stripes. There's a few in here that still have their stripes. And they look almost uh, very similar to tiger barbs when they are fry. There's a good number of them in here. So these are probably not the most ideal to sell, but they're a little younger. Uh, probably these are five months old. I think they were hatched in September and right now it's the mid-January. Mid so here's a 50 gallon with uh, at least, I think there's 164 at the moment, about 164 in there. And uh, I have some other fish uh, growing out. Uh, these are Odessa barbs. Then there's um, um, a couple of more. I actually have a few older ones which I've been advertising. These are the black spot barbs that are probably a good three inch, um, at least three inch. Um, they are a little older. They were the born or hatched in about July of 2017. That would make them uh, about eight months old. These are uh, just about to the point where you can start to sex them. I can pick out males. There is a few of them that the filaments on the dorsal fin are starting to grow out. And when you start seeing a filament pop out of the dorsal fin, you know it's a male for sure because the females never have that occur. Also, when you first turn on the lights, they get a little excited and uh, there's actually a, a uh, redness in the fins, the tail fin especially, and I can usually pick out the, which ones those are. Those are the males and uh, they also reveal themselves that way. There's 13 in here. Uh, it's a nice number, a perfect uh, match. I also have uh, a few more of those. Not a lot, but just a few more in this tank. This tank holds uh, my uh, wide bar silver dollars, but also uh, there's a, a few of these uh, filament barbs who also are about the same age as the ones we just saw and they are um, probably from July or August because I was hatching fish in July, August and September. So now um, let's take a quick look at uh, the, the breeders. I have uh, the adults which are at least a year and a half old. I'll give you a quick look at those. Currently, the breeders are in this tank. They're just being held here uh, for the time being. These are the uh, ones I have. They're not fully grown. However, you will notice the filaments on the males are tremendously long. Uh, currently, they're all washed out. The colors are gone. I used to have them in uh, my tank in the house, my display tank, which was 75 gallon and that tank was sold so I have them in this 50 gallon temporarily just to hold them until I put them into my new 
150 gallon which I'll be putting in in soon maybe in the next couple of weeks but you can see the colors in the males they uh, they're really awesome fish when they start to get excited right now uh, they're only interested in food because they see me but also the females they don't have that long filaments on the dorsal you can tell them very easily which ones are the males and females I have three females in here in this particular tank and uh, they get very green very pinkish a lot of color when they start sparring and you can see videos of them sparring very um, excitedly in my other YouTube videos in the same channel you can just uh, search through my videos you'll see it it's called uh, filament barb sparring and I think there's four videos one of four two of four three and four of four but here is uh, the, the, the tin foil barbs in here are pushing five and a half six inches and uh, I believe that uh, they get along very well with other fish the filament barbs don't have um, they don't have a lot of uh, enemies they don't have any problems with other fish they don't attack they're not aggressive except with each other the males get very aggressive towards each other and they never hurt each other but they do spar and put on quite a display I recommend you look at their display in the other videos I've shot. Well, that's the black spot barbs for you, also known as Dachinsia filament, uh, filamentosa. So that will give you some idea of what they're all about. So as you can see, I have um, uh, different sizes, uh, need a home, uh, can make somebody really happy with some nice fish.